Hello guys and welcome to a new short video, just a small update video since I didn't do one in like three weeks, four weeks. A lot has been going on. Um, I got a new part for my car. Well, actually it's not meant to be for my car, but I got it fit on my car. And I, first I wanted to make like a install video, but I didn't get to it. So now I'm just gonna do, gonna show you what I put on my car. I would say, let's just go over there and show you guys what I did. I got a nice weather today. And by the way, my car is filthy as crap. Let's just walk over there real quick and show you. Okay, here we are and yeah guys i got a new wing it's like a what is that no it's actually they call it a spoiler duct tape spoiler no it's not a duct tape it's like a i don't fucking know what it's called but yeah that's what i got and it's actually not meant to be for my car or for the new edges it's meant to for the s550s but when you get it from american muscle that's where i ordered mine from you get it it looks different i put some pictures in because i didn't really make a video of it but this piece would have been on here too, which doesn't fit to the body line. But as I said, I'm just gonna put pictures in the background. And yeah, so this is the S550 MP Concepts wing, I believe. I'm pretty happy with it. The only problem is, of course, the residue of the old GT wing uh, spoiler. And this is coming up, as you can see. So I have to figure out a way like small sunk and screw that you cannot see when you look of it on it but other than that it worked pretty well of course you have to drill two new holes so i'm gonna show you where those holes are i hope my trunk, it. trunk is clean well i drilled holes that's why it's still dirty in there but here we can see this is where the original holes were for the old uh, spoiler and this is what the new hole did that you have to drill. You also have to cut this out so you can get that nut on there. Same thing for the other side. There you go. So yeah, you just have to drill these two holes, fill these other holes so you don't have getting you don't get rain into your trunk. I mean that's not a nice thing to do. And then all you gotta do is put some 3M tape. Let me see if you can see that. No, you cannot see through it. It's like a transparent kind of wing, as you can see. And it's somewhat, it's like really dark tinted. I thought about probably wrapping it, make it like black. I mean, from a distance, you cannot really see that it is see through, but when you get up close, you can see. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, all you have to do so it doesn't look weird with the body line is grind this down with a dremel or cut first you have to cut these pieces off because it would stick out and then you have to file it down sand it i sanded it with what is it 600 grit and then i went through over it with the 1500 grit and then some polishing it looks pretty much like factory it's really solid too like i'm ripping on this thing it doesn't go anywhere but yeah, it adds a nice look to the car. I think it fits pretty well. Looks pretty nice. And for the price, I mean, this was, what was it, 130? At the, at the time when I bought this one, the matte black one was sold out and I'm happy I didn't go with the matte black one because that wouldn't have fit to the car. Like it had to be a shiny, glossy black. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Just a small update video. I'm still alive. Didn't make many videos. Um, Mustang week didn't turn out like it was supposed to because of the hurricane. So we all went to Tennessee, but you saw some videos of that. But yeah, that's how it looks like now. In the video, it also looks really purple. It doesn't look that purple in person. <laughs> but you won't be. Yeah, also I'm gonna get a new sticker for this. There's gonna be a whole sticker, like the whole window is gonna be this, just bigger. And probably gonna have to find something to <clears throat> get this gone i already tried polishing it i don't want to really sand it until i can paint it but for right now it's good enough so yeah i hope you like this short uh video that's pretty much all you gotta do if you guys like this boiler turn out pretty well and this is how it would have been before but yeah i, I got a, a bunch of pictures that's gonna be in the background already so yeah, I hope you guys like this little small video and I hope you see you in the next one. Bye.